Yeah, hey guys. So today we're going to take a look at uh, a few different ideas for monetizing or creating your first directive. So one of the things that's come up quite a bit in our zero to one K challenge, uh, folks who are asking questions about just getting started with directories, like, you know, what projects, what niches or which niches or which sorts of ambitious ideas they ought to launch first. So one of the things that I would uh, recommend is start with a, with a simple affiliate directory. So what you can do is take a couple related niches um, that are under one umbrella and just create, um, you know, 15 or 20 listings that are affiliate oriented. So you're selling affiliate products in a given market. Let's say it's diet or let's say it's nutrition or men's health is a easy um, niche to sell affiliate products in. And there are lots of them. You can go to cj.com. You can go to clickbank.com for, you know, some sort of cheesy uh, digital downloads that tend to be popular. Um, just make a directory using something like Vantage 4.0, which is really easy to get up and running in an hour. Uh, and then just hand add or manually add 15 or 20 affiliate products. Then all you're going to do, and again, this is just the default Vantage. Um, all you're going to do, so these are the listings, is create blog posts that point to each individual listing. So let's say this Tonga room listing was instead some sort of nutritional uh, supplement for men. So you would just create a blog post. So you would add this, right? So you'd add the listing and that would be an affiliate product with links out to that product with your affiliate link. And then you'd create a post and then just link to that, like asking, you know, has anyone used this product or this is a review of this product or post a video from YouTube at, you know, and a review of the product. All you really want to do is add a little bit of extra link love within your directory to the products themselves, in this case, the listings. And this is a super, super easy way to build your first directory. It's also an easy way to start making some affiliate commissions. I mean, if you have 20 products in the first 30 days, you should start to get some natural organic SEO uh, traffic to your directory. And you are going to get some clicks that should result in some sales, All right, You might not make a thousand dollars in affiliate commissions uh, in your first month. That actually may be a high bar. But what you may do is earn three or four or five hundred dollars and get familiar with this process. And it's also a very simple model to scale. So you can build four of these in a week without any problem, um, you know, each in different niches. So the other thing that you can do with these is you can sell them. So if you create a 20 product directory in a given niche in, in let's say men's health for an example and then you play with this for 30 days and you make a couple sales and you're starting to get some traffic you can just go and then flip the, the directory in a month or two months or three months for you know a multiple of let's say three times monthly earnings or whatever price you can get for it. I mean, you can go and contact people who are competing in those niches and just say, hey, I have a directory. It's getting some good natural results for your product. Um, you know, I don't, I have too many things going on. Would you like to buy this for a thousand dollars or whatever it is? And again, you can just build an empire of these review style sites, but it, using the directory model rather than the blog uh, model or rather than the content, pure content model. So I find this is a really easy way to sort of get familiar with this process and to learn, you know, what 
you know, all the mechanics of building something like this before you decide on a more ambitious, let's say, you know, geo-specific or hyper-local directory in your town or some kind of industry uh, niche-specific larger project that you may have in mind. This is just a really good way of getting started and then scaling this system. The other thing that I wanted to say that's come up quite a bit in terms of scaling in our zero to one K uh, challenge. One of the things that's really helpful, I find that anyone can do is if you're using a managed WordPress hosting environment that has cloning or staging sites, one of the things that I do is, I, so you create one directory and then you add all the plugins that you want to use for that directory. You know, in this case, I'm using all Vantage 4.0 related plugins from their marketplace. They actually gave me a free um, sort of add-on pack to, you know, to add to my directory for whatever reason, the Vantage people did. But so I'll install everything that I have that, that sort of accentuates and augments the base directory um, for project A. And then I'll clone it because I, I, the, my directory projects are typically hosted on um, pressable.com or some other um, similar host that also have a cloning feature. And there's also plugins you can use to clone. But so what I'll do is I'll create one base directory and then I'll just clone it like four or five times and then just change the niche and I have everything set up, all the plugins, all of the you know, basic categories that I'm, I'm going to use across multiple projects and so forth and so on. It really works wonderfully well and it makes, it makes scaling something like this in an afternoon very easy. So I can have 10, you know, let's call, let's, let's make this simple. Let's say four or five niche or affiliate oriented small directory sites set up with an aggressive plan of action on how I'm going to monetize them all within a three or four hour window in one day. All right. So, you know, just use a clone feature if you have that on your hosting or um, I don't use these because I, you know, because the, the hosting I, I have incorporates that. But if you know, use one of the WP clone style uh, plugins that I know are out there that allow you to do the same thing, I would imagine on any hosting environment. All right, so I hope that helps a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks so much and have a great day.